board. They're yeah. just everywhere. They're just all over into everything. Yeah. And, and, and they really do car get carried away with some things. Yeah. You know? I mean, I don't care if you study flat earth. I don't care if you study a globe earth. I don't care what earth you study. But let me tell you something. If that's the primary study that I'm seeing online with these people, that's their primary study. That's what they're really like. That's the big deal. That's the big secret conspiracy of all ages right there is that right there. When that becomes like, the, when you're so consumed with that, let's talk about the gospel of Jesus Christ, oh, repentance yeah. towards God, yeah. faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's see how much you're out there preaching the Word of God in the streets, yeah. calling men to repentance, having a zeal for God, having a fire, raising your family in holiness and righteousness and separation, Amen. and then we can talk about that. Amen. Amen. I'm, 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 not against, I'm not against you studying that. What I am against is that consuming your life and being like the only right. main thing. Right. Listen, I believe geocentricity is true. And I've right. never had anybody prove it wrong yet. Amen. But you know what? It's not, the only, it's not the only thing that I consume my life with and preach. It's a very small part of what I preach. Right. Right. Yeah. Not, that I, not that I don't think it's an important issue. It is. Yeah. All Bible is important, okay? Yeah. But there are fundamentals. Right. But there are things that, that we need to be concentrated on. Right. That we need to be oh. moving. And we need to study to show ourselves a prudent to God. The whole book. Amen. I mean, I've seen these people divide these lines of like, well, you're just not a Bible believer if you don't believe in flat earth, or you're not a Bible if you don't believe in this. And, you're not, and, and you, what are you doing? You said you're post-trib God. Right? Like one guy said, yeah, post-trib God, because it's pre-trib or post-trib. Listen, friend, I hardly ever talk about pre-trib or post-trib. You know why? Because I'm more, I'm more concerned with what's going on in people's souls right now where I'm at. I'm going to die sometime, okay? You know what? Pre-trip, post-trip, whatever trip. It don't matter. Get out there and serve the Lord. Yes, doctrine is important. Yes, it matters of having a position, standing firm on it. I understand all that. But you know what? People get consumed with these things, sometimes with prophecy and everything else, and they're not fulfilling the Great Commission, what God has called them to do. And we can all get distracted and fight each other and say, well, that guy's not saved because he... I've heard it. That guy's not saved because he's pre-trip. That guy's not saved because he's post-trip. <laughs> that guy's not saved because he's flat earth. Or that guy's not saved because he's... Come on! Quit wasting your time. Get out there and preach. Right. You're wasting your time. That's petty. You're being petty. Right. Right. You're saved by the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. And guess what? Saved people are wrong about things. That's right. They just are. Yep. They don't have to be heretics. They don't have to be really awful people to be wrong. Right. Okay? They don't have to be secret agents coming in and subvert everything. <laughs> They're just wrong sometimes. People are just wrong sometimes, okay? And guess what? Saved people are wrong about things. That's right. They just are. They don't have to be heretics. They don't have to be really awful people to be wrong. Okay? They don't have to be secret agents coming in and subvert everything. They're just wrong sometimes. People are just wrong sometimes, okay? So, you know, that's where you give people a little bit of grace. All right? You have grace for people to be like, okay, they hold that position, I hold that position. Great. Okay. Yeah. Now, I believe I'm right. You believe you're right. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's keep going for the Lord. We have to. Amen. Amen. We can sit around and fight about it all day long and not get none done. That's exactly what the devil wants. Yeah, right. To get you out. Wasn't well, all Bible important? Absolutely it is. But it all has its place in order, and God shows you in his book what the order is Amen. and the importance. I'd like to see all these people that are worried about flat earth. Um, what's the other one? Flat earth that, or globe or whatever. What are they called? Globe. Okay, globe, flat earth, whatever, whatever earth they want. What's that? Unicorns. <laughs> Unicorns and puppy dogs. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> the land of pancakes and puppy dogs. Um, whatever it is. All these other things. I'd like to see if they know the first principles. Can they right. teach the first principles? Right. Do they understand the first principles? Are yeah. they even in local churches? Are they even yeah. above the church, the, the church of God? Yeah. Have they been scripturally baptized? Are they following the Lord in obedience? Are they doing all they can to follow God? Yeah. I'm not saying you can't study anything out. What I'm saying is if, it get, if you're carried away with it, you have no balance, you're in trouble. You've got to have balance with everything. Right? Brother Paul studied geocentricity a lot, but you know what? Every time he talks to you, we don't talk about geocentricity. We talk about it sometimes, but we don't talk about it all the time. It's not the only thing that he talks about. 
He could, he could talk to you about the King James Bible. He could talk to you about street preachers. He talk to you about a lot of things. So what I'm saying is these people are so... They get, don't be carried away like that. Don't be moved around like that and shaken about with everything. Following the next biggest trend to go down. Don't do that. Stay the course. Stand straight. Study everything. Yes. But be firm where God wants you to be firm. You know, you, you lose sight of things along the way and you can, you can be taken away. I've seen people, it's all they're consumed with. It's all they talk about. You know, they're just consumed with it anyway. But that's just something that's been, I, I've been looking at lately. And I, I think people are, they gotta, you got to have a balance about it. About anything we study like that to make, make sure. That's right. A false balance is an abomination unto the Lord. That's right.